Guys, I think we've got to talk about the new boys AT rifle because in my opinion this thing is just absolutely obscene at the moment. It's incredible fun, it's great fun to use, but it started infecting Battlefield 5 in all the wrong ways. And I think we're going to have to talk about why that's happening and maybe question why it's been balanced this way by the DICE team. This is the new Tides of War unlock for this week and for whatever reason DICE decided to balance it the way they have but it's a 55 cal sniper rifle. Well, I call it a sniper rifle, it's not really a sniper rifle but that's what most people are using it as in Battlefield 5 at the moment and in real life it was designed for damaging the armour of tanks during World War 2 but it wasn't very effective against the armour that suddenly increased and increased. The armour got better and better and this rifle just couldn't keep up. And it was actually replaced by the Piat launcher, which was far more effective. But in Battlefield 5 at the moment, people aren't using this thing to even go anywhere near vehicles. You can take out light vehicles with it, it's far more effective against transport vehicles. But most of the time, I'm seeing people just use this thing to take out other infantry players. It's a 55 cal rifle, so that's a massive round in there. So you'd invariably expect it to be able to take out players pretty easily. But get this, it's a one hit kill out to 100 meters, which is, you know, that encompasses pretty much all of the engagement ranges that are built into Battlefield 5. And now a brand new gun has been added to the game that can dominate every single one of those engagement ranges. To me, that's just obscene to make that kind of decision. I wouldn't say that I'm angry that this weapon has ended up in Battlefield 5, not at all. It's brilliant fun to use, and when you can rack up a few kills with it within a life, it does make you feel like an almighty god on the battlefield, but I don't really think this fits as a weapon that you can pick for your soldier in the loadout screen. This weapon to me feels more like a power pickup weapon. If you think back to the days of Battlefield 4, you could pick up 50 cal sniper rifles from the ground in that game and you could use up the ammunition that was in them and then that was it. You had to drop the weapon and go back to the primary weapon that you'd picked for your soldier. And in Battlefield 1, we had the Elite Kits, which were extremely powerful. And again, we had the Anti-Tank Hunter. I think it was just called the Tank Hunter. And that had an absolutely massive tank rifle in it. I think it was the Tank Gavir. And that thing had a huge round in it. And again, you could one-hit infantry soldiers at any range with that thing. So at least the boys' AT here in Battlefield 5 is only up to 100 meters. But still, I think the point stands. This is not a weapon that I expected to be able to pick for my soldier loadout. This is something that I would expect to find maybe on one of the flags placed around a conquest map that I could pick up, use for maybe six or eight rounds, and then I'd have to put it down again and go back to my normal weapon. It feels like a pickup. It doesn't feel like a standard primary weapon, or at least I don't think it should be. Now, DICE has tried to balance this thing in certain ways. They've tried to make sure that the boys' AT rifle isn't completely overpowered against infantry. And the first thing that you're going to notice immediately is the fact that you can't aim down the sights of this weapon unless it's deployed on cover or if you're prone on the ground. That's where you can really take advantage of it. And this means this weapon operates in a very similar way to the MMGs in the support class. But I'd argue you can get round this limitation by hip firing people. A very similar way to what you can do with the MMGs, but I think it's more effective with the boys AT rifle because you're firing a 55 cal round. If the soldier gets close in front of you, say between 15 and 20 meters or maybe even a little bit closer, if you sort of aim down the sights and zoom the weapon in a little bit, you do get quite good hip fire accuracy with this thing. And you're not going to hit the target every single time, but there are many occasions where a soldier is a little bit further away than what I'd expect to be able to hit with hip fire, and yet sometimes I manage to hit the soldier anyway. And the soldier should be able to win that gunfight. There are, I have no right to win that gunfight at that range. I'm using a rifle that needs to really be aimed in to be accurate. But for some reason, the hip fire on this thing is quite accurate. And it's quite consistent as well. It doesn't always work, but 
I found in certain scenarios that hit firing soldiers that are close to you, you just get rewarded with kills and ultimately I don't think that's really very fair for the soldier on the other end of the gunfight because they should win that gunfight. I have no right to win it and yet I'm winning it anyway. DICE is also trying to slow you down when you're using the boys' AT rifle, so I've just been talking about hip fire. Obviously, that's if you're caught in close quarters and somebody happens to be in front of you, then you can go and score that hip fire kill, but after you've fired that shot, the rechambering animation to get the next round into the barrel, that takes an absolute age. And reloading is going to take quite a long time as well. If you reload with no bullet left in the chamber, then you're going to be reloading only four bullets via a magazine onto the top of this weapon. If you do leave one in the chamber, you'll reload that full magazine and that gives you five rounds before you have to reload again. But that rechambering animation really does slow you down. But if you've got the gun bipodded behind cover and you've got good accuracy on the thing and you're a certain distance away from the targets that you're trying to hit, then even that slow rechambering animation isn't going to slow you down all that much. And you can scope back in relatively quickly and pick out your next target again. So even though DICE is trying to slow you down, potentially they're not slowing you down enough considering this thing's power. And interestingly actually, you can go into the specializations menu for the boys AT rifle and you can choose a rate of fire increase specialization for this weapon. So even though DICE has balanced this thing as a stock weapon to fire really, really slowly, you can slightly increase its rate of fire and that rechambering animation is no longer as slow as it was. It is going to be slightly faster. So that's counterproductive to balancing the weapon as a slow firing anti-material rifle and you're actually increasing it to make it better against infantry and of course you've got 100 max damage within 100 meters and the whole thing just starts to come back to quite an unbalanced weapon in certain regards. Like I said at the beginning of this video though, despite all of these things that make it somewhat unbalanced and potentially too good in my opinion, it's great fun to use and so at the moment why the hell would you not use it? It's only been a few days since it's come out and I've already seen a lot of people using this thing in game. I've been killed by it multiple times whilst I've been using it so it's clear that lots of people are going for the same sort of play style as me but I just feel that even though it's really really fun to use it's just adding to that bipod prone meta that is already present in Battlefield 5 and I really really don't enjoy that kind of play style. I don't really like lying down on the ground stationary for several minutes at a time waiting for people to run past or maybe trying to get line of sight on somebody and spray people down with bullets. You can now do similar things with a rifle in the recon class but if the enemy that you're firing at is within 100 meters and you hit them in the body then you're going to take them down instantly. And although that's really, really fun, like I said, it is great fun to use. It's just being on the receiving end of that is so, so frustrating. And I think it's a massive oversight that DICE have added this into the game the way they have. When you've already got a bipod prone meta that's running rife in the game that certain sections of the community don't appreciate, why the hell on earth would you add a 55 cal one hit sniper rifle into the game and then further add to that bipod prone meta. It just seems like a really, really strange decision. And it's great fun when you're playing as that character, but being on the receiving end, it's really, really not enjoyable. There is one portion of the team that I do want to congratulate on this weapon, and that's a team that I'm really quite harsh on for Battlefield 5. You know I'm not a big fan of the audio on certain maps in this game, but for this weapon, the audio is really, really good. It sounds like you're punching nails through a concrete wall. It sounds brilliant, and it really stands out above all of the other weapon sounds in the game, and it makes you feel like you're firing a 55 cal rifle. So to the DICE audio team that did the work on this weapon, you did a great job. If there's one piece of advice that I can give you as a Battlefield 5 player right now, and I know I've just complained about this thing just being awful to be on the receiving end of, but 
You've got to experience this weapon as it's currently balanced right now. I've got a feeling that dice are going to change how it's balanced, and I really do believe that my idea of making it a pickup only weapon would be really, really good. Like, if you captured one of the points on a conquest map, this thing then spawns next to the flag or something, and you can pick it up, and you can fire, I don't know, maybe 12 rounds out of it before you run out of ammo, and you cannot replenish the ammo, so you can't just go on a rampage for the rest of the round. I think that would be a really good way of balancing this weapon, because then its presence in the game wouldn't be so ridiculous as it is now, but if you haven't unlocked this thing already, go and unlock it now, and go and play with it for a few rounds, and just experience what it's like at the moment, because I can't see this weapon being the way that it is for too much longer in this game. I think in a future patch this will get changed, and it won't be anywhere near as good as it currently is. And even though I don't really think it's very well balanced, you should go and try it, because it's just so much fun to use. It really, really is awesome. But there you have it, that's the boys' AT rifle in Battlefield 5. It's the most obscene gun that's currently available in this game, and as I said, you should definitely go and give it a try. If you enjoyed this video today, please let me know in the comments section, because I did all of this video entirely off script. I didn't write anything for it, usually I script all of my videos, but Today I just decided that this video warranted an unscripted version of me, so I just went for it. If you like that kind of video, then let me know down in the comments and maybe I'll do some more in the future. But a big thank you for watching, and until next time, my name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.